Okay, so this video isn't going to be accomplishing a whole lot other than getting us started and getting us set up. Now getting everything set up is really essential for this to go smoothly. So some of the first things first, we're gonna make sure we have the latest recommended version of Node.js installed. So if you have Node installed already, make sure your version is somewhere around this 6.10.3. I know that a incorrect Node version is the cause of some issues in the setup process. So we're gonna go ahead and click install for Mac OS X. If you're on Windows, you'll wanna get started the same way. Okay, so after this downloads, we're gonna to wanna to keep this, we're gonna to wanna to click on this package and install it. Now I already have a node installed on my computer here, but I feel like just running it through this installation process is going to make sure that we have the latest version that we need. Okay, so just like that, Node is installed. We can move the installer to the trash. Okay, so after you've installed Node, what we're going to be doing here is in this particular series, in this video, we're going to be getting React Native set up with the least possible friction here, right? You could follow a lot of different guides and there's guides that want you to install like Homebrew and stuff like that. And you can do it that way if you'd like. We're gonna be using Create React Native app, which will hopefully help streamline some of the getting started bit. And in fact, in later videos, we're gonna go over maybe a little bit more in depth version of installing all of this stuff. But as you can see here, after we've installed Node, you're gonna fire up your terminal. I'm using iTerm. The reason my terminal looks like this is because I'm using something called Fish Shell. Uh, if you're using Bash or ZSH, it should all be the exact same. Now with Node installed, we should be able to type in NPM and we should be able to have stuff, right? So we should be able to see that NPM was installed. So if we wanna install this create React Native app, we wanna do NPM install hyphen G and then create hyphen React hyphen native hyphen app. Just like that, it's gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of stuff for us. Now, the next thing we wanna do is maybe browse to our sites directory. So I have a sites directory set up as just in sites and then a folder, level up tutorials. Yours can be wherever you sort of keep your projects. So I've changed directory into my projects directory and I wanna run a command, which is going to be create React Native app and then the name of our application, which is create hyphen react hyphen native hyphen app, and then the name of our application, which is just going to be tip calc. Okay, hit enter. Yes. Okay, and what seemed like a long, long time of installing things, I can assure you, uh, we now have essentially our project here where we can CD to change directory into tip calc these npm commands is yarn commands and you can run yarn start like it's saying here or you can do so with npm since we're not talking about yarn in this video necessarily uh, we're going to be using npm for my examples but i should note in personal work i'm typically using yarn i just didn't want an extra step here right so we have tip calc going and if we were to do npm start what this is going to do is it's going to bundle up our package now, in addition, I want to open up this directory in our text editor, tip calc. I'm going to be using what is Visual Studio Code here. We can drop this on Visual Studio Code and let's fire this up here. So as you can see, we should have all of these folders. We have an expo, VS Code, Node Modules, Babel RC, that sort of stuff. We have an app.json, app.js, app.test. What we don't have is we don't have a simulator up and running. What we can do is actually access our application through this QR code and the Expo app. So if you have an iOS or Android device, you can install the Expo app, then you can scan, I'm gonna zoom out here, you can scan this QR code or your own personal QR code that is, and it will let you load up the application just like that. Or we could simply just enter this address. It's also saying your phone will need to be on the same local area network. Now, let's talk a little bit about what Create React Native App did. It essentially uh, started a new project for us. It did all the same sort of stuff that starting a new project, the standard method, 
of installing React Native would do, installing and creating a new project. However, it's using this technology called Expo. And Expo essentially allows us to get up and running without all of the SDKs and stuff like that installed on our computer. So if you have an iOS or Android device, you could just simply download the Expo app and you could get going with this QR code instead of having to download all these SDKs and stuff like that, which could just add way more, way more, way more pain to the startup process. So this is the fastest possible way to get started with React Native. Now, not to say that the other way is uh, incorrect or anything. I just wanted to go over the fastest way. In fact, in later videos, I'll show you the more in-depth way. But now that we have this set up, what I'm gonna do in the next couple of videos is show you how to get your environment set up so that we don't don't necessarily have to use a real device to test this on. We can use simulators and emulators and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you getting set up with iOS and then we're going to get an app, this Hello World app fired up on iOS. And then we're going to do the same thing for Android. That way you can use a simulator, emulator, real device, whatever, as long as we can go forward actually building our application. Then from there, we're going to actually go through sort of what's up with React Native. What is it? We're going to dive into some of the default code. We're going to go over some of these basic examples, and then we're going to start building out our tip calculator. And you're going to see exactly why React Native is such an awesome platform to develop on for native applications. So just like that, we have an app up and running. You can grab the app, check it out on your phone, and it's going to feel like magic, but we did it. And most of the time was actually just sitting around waiting for stuff to download. So in the next video, we're going to get started and set up with our iOS environment in React Native.